Hey everybody, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. As always, I forget about some of my recent finds. Um, I do these recent finds videos every once in a while, so this is stuff that I didn't buy with collections, that didn't come with collections, it's just stuff I've been particularly looking for and seeking out, and I end up finding. So, I've got a ton of it um, here in the past few months. I just have not made a video because I've been showing all the collections and stuff I'm buying. Anyways, I'm going to shut up and get on with it because I've got a lot to show. Um, first of all, amazing night last night. Um, so Bill from the Vinylverse YouTube channel. Bill. A Tunes from the Man Cave, Chris. You know him. A Digital Gramophone, John. Local Bandography, Dave. Um, we all got together and just had the time of our lives. Uh, Bill came in from... Uh, he's from Pennsylvania, so he came in to visit family in Charlotte. And we're all, you know, from near around Charlotte. So we all got together and hung out for a good dig at Lunchbox Records. So we talked a lot. We didn't do as, as much digging, you know. But they did. They tore it up, you know. But uh, I didn't have a lot of time. So I came in and kind of got to meet Bill face-to-face. -face. It was really cool. The rest of them I'd met before. but um, So it was kind of a really cool VC meetup thing. Here's a picture of us all together at Lunchbox. It was just a lot of fun. So, anyways, uh, this is what I picked up while we were there. So, this one was in there a couple months, or a couple, a couple weeks ago. And I didn't get it, and I just immediately regretted it, because it's so hard to find. This is Purple Image. Um, this is a reissue on Purple Vinyl. Uh, they only did 350 of these reissues on Purple Vinyl, but this is a killer record. Uh, if you like Funkadelic, Maggot Brain, uh, if you like Black Murda, like, this is in that same speed. It's really, really, really good stuff. The original pressings are hard to find, worth a couple hundred bucks, maybe 300 bucks. Uh, but this is a reissue. This is pretty good. Uh, but it was still there. guess nobody knew what it was, because it's, 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 it's usually good. Uh, so I grabbed that. I've seen this online before. This is Towns Van Zandt and Guy Clark uh, live January 20th, 1991 in San Francisco. Seen this online before. Um, never got it, but it was there at Lunchbox for a good price, so I picked it up. Um, I will keep it because I am a huge Towns Van Zandt fan, as you probably know, and a huge Guy Clark fan. So it's a great piece of history. I love it. But the sound on this sucks. Oh my gosh. Sounds like somebody came in there with like a Fisher Price tape recorder and recorded the show. It's horrible. Uh, real, it's like, even I like bootlegs. Like, I, I, I mean, even if they're not the great sound quality, I'm not picky. But this is like, it's like a windy tape sound. It's horrible. It's hard to listen to. But it's really cool. Uh, if you're looking for a good live Channel Zanzan album, do not buy this. Just work. Uh, caution but anyways it's cool double lp um it's got some great songs and it was a great performance but like i said it's kind of hard to listen to and then so david uh gibson from local bandography he's been looking for a copy of uh john coltrane meditations for he said four years so he said that and he said he really needed it and i had a copy and i hadn't listened to it in a long time so i brought it along and gave it to him and he bought me this kind of as a trade but uh, I saw Chris had this under his arm. Chris tunes from the Man Cave. And I've been meaning to get this. I've listened to it online a bunch. This is Duran Jones and the Indicators. American Love Call. This is a... Um, it's an amazing record. So this came out this year. It's got orange vinyl. Uh, but this came out this year. Uh, 2018, I believe. Or 2019. Yeah, came out in 2019. Um... But I, the moment I heard this, I thought, oh, cool, this is one of those things where they found the master tapes, some old soul album from, like, 1966, and they reissued it. No, this is an original, like, like a, a new band. These guys are dressed all old school, uh, but this is a new band, and they're phenomenal, incredible music. Like, I heard it a couple months ago when it came out, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is killer. i got to get this on vinyl. And just haven't been in a record store thinking about it, you know. So, finally got this. Thanks, David, for this. And, uh, yeah, this is, if you like that type of thing, like, 
um, funky soul type. It's killer, man. It's so good. So check this out. If you like stuff that's on stacks, check this out. So good. Um, so anyways, that's the stuff I got from Lunchbox. Um, and a bunch of this other stuff is stuff I got a bunch of different random places. Friends I know, some some stuff online, you know, stuff I've been looking for. So this is Heartworn Highways. This is a box set that came out on Record Store Day a few years ago. Um, this is a killer. It's encased in wood. But if you don't know what Heartworn Highways is, Heartworn Highways is a film that has Town Van Zandt, Guy Clark, um, a bunch of other like country music uh, people that traveled around. Uh, not early country country music, but like just good country folk type stuff. Um, but just a phenomenal, I'll read some of the artists that's on, on here, uh, phenomenal soundtrack, but major, majority of it's about Guy Clark and Towns Van Zandt, which are like two of my favorites. So this opens up like this, the front of it, and this comes out, let's see here. So this is the, the actual soundtrack. So Towns Van Zandt, Guy Clark, uh, Gamble Rogers, David Allen Coe, uh, John Hyatt, Steve Young, oh my gosh, yeah, Steve Earle, uh, Rodney Crowell, uh, Larry John Wilson, oh my gosh, the dude's got just the deep, rich voice of uh, country, uh, Barry White, if you will. This is coming on some really sweet colored vinyl, as Record Short I usually does, but man, this is just a killer, uh, the way that they, they did this box set is just amazing comes with a great booklet um, with all these different pictures and stuff and it comes with a DVD of the movie which the movie is actually hard to find it comes with a really big uh, Towns Van Zandt poster which I'm really trying not to hang on my wall but anyways we'll see but yeah that one is, is one I've been looking for and they're hard to find because there's only 1500 of them made they're huge encased in wood so um, I was glad to find this one. Uh, this is Led Zeppelin 1, not your ordinary Led Zeppelin 1. This is the classic records pressing 200 gram audio file a reissue. Um, but this is, a lot of people say that this is the best sounding pressing of Led Zeppelin 1. Uh, general consensus on a lot of people say that the classic records pressings of all the Led Zeppelin albums is the best sound you can get out of any of them with the exception of Led Zeppelin 2 which is a mix-up uh, between the classic records pressing, which is this, Robert Ludwig, and the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab copy. So those, I have all three of those now, so I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, listen to all three of them and see. But I, got all, I, I really need to get all the classic records pressings. I just have not been able to find them for a decent price. And a friend of mine had those, and he traded them to me. So thank you so much. Uh, this is a UK plum label pressing a Led Zeppelin 3. I already had this, uh, but this is an upgrade copy for me, so I ended up selling my old copy and keeping that one. This is a new um, Live for Monterey Led Zeppelin 3 LP. I already had Live for Monterey. Uh, this is 1970. I already had this show. But for some reason, they wanted to put it on double LP, and they cut out the last the last disc of the track, which would be a uh, whole lot of love and communication breakdown, whole lot of love the way they did it in the early seventies with the uh, old blues medley mashup. Holy moly. That's my favorite thing. Led Zeppelin ever did. I love it. So they cut that out of the original. So this is a newer issue, a newer bootleg with a trifold cover. Super sweet. Uh, at my, at my pop-up good buddy of mine, uh, traded these in. This is a uh, Almond Brothers Eat a Peach Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab original master recording. I've been wanting one of these. Again, these are impossible. They have been impossible for me to find because when they got sold, people ate them up and uh, didn't didn't want to get rid of them. Also got this one, Fillmore East Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. Oh man, these these sound so incredible. Um, James Gang rides again original master recording. Uh, if you have not heard this album in a while, because I heard this when I was a kid a lot. I liked it. But I haven't listened to it since I was a kid. And I got this and threw it on, and man, it is a cooker. It's a killer album. I just forgot how good it was. Really great. Um, got an original copy of them again. Uh, compare it. Really great album. I had a reissue of this, but I really want an original. So, thank you. Got this one. So good. 
This is um, Peter Lafarge, Ira Hayes, and other ballads. This has got the iconic uh, new star on Columbia Records uh, sticker there on the front. I love that. I got a Bob Dylan self-titled that has that on there. It's just one of my favorite things. That's the demonstration thing on the back. Six Eye, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but this is really great folk music. Uh, these do not go for a lot of money. It's not worth a ton. Uh, it being a promo is worth a little bit more. But, um, you know, original copies of this in good shape is 10 bucks. You know, really good folk songs. I could listen to this stuff all day. Um, this is Led Zeppelin Winterland, uh, April 1969, live at Winterland. I just didn't have this. It's bootleg. Led Zeppelin live on the levee. Um, Chicago, 1975. Uh, this is just black vinyl, regular old. It's box top records, uh, bootleg. Didn't have that one, and have been wanting it for a while. So, found it at a good price. This is a Pink Floyd, um, Violence in Birmingham. This is a a bootleg. Uh, I can't remember exactly. 1970, Birmingham, England, not Alabama. Whew. Anyways, got that one. Excited to listen to it. Um, someone traded this in at my pop up. This is Albert King and Otter Rush, door to door. I haven't heard this yet, but those two fellas can really rock it out. So excited to hear that. Um, this is Brethren Moment of Truth. I'd never heard of this and picked this up on one of my hauls recently um, and put it on. And man, it it, it was a hard hitting rock and roll treasure. So awesome. Um, a guy came in on one of my pop ups. He is from Raleigh and watched my videos. Shout out to Neil. Thank you, Neil, for this. But this one's called Fat Water. This is a DJ uh, promo copy pressing of Fat Water. Uh, it was really good uh, garagey psych stuff. Great. Love it. Just listened to it for the first time a couple days ago and really, really enjoyed it. Um, this is Pink Floyd, Why So Terribly Loud on gold vinyl. Look at that. It's a beauty. Um, this is live in Japan, I think. Uh, but anyways, it's a limited edition on gold vinyl. Uh, I should probably have more details about something before I show it. But I got this one. It's, I believe it's live in Japan, 1967. So it's early, early Floyd stuff with some Sid Barrett tracks on there too. Um, this is Dry Water. I showed this on one of my videos. Uh, I found an original pressing of this. And they go for like $400, so I sold it. Um, and this is a limited, limited reissue. Only 350 copies. Uh, but these guys are from my neck of the woods. They're from the Charlotte area. I actually think they're from Gastonia, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. But anyways, a uh, really killer um, psych hard rock from 1974. Um, but I heard this and I loved it. But I'd spent a lot on the record collection that this came with. And I needed to turn the money around pretty quick, so I sold it. But this is a great reissue of it. I got it for really cheap. So... Yeah, Kane, A Pound of Flesh. This is a really great hard rock classic. I've uh, been wanting this for a while. It's original pressing. Stoked to have it. Um, this is Sweet Sweetbacks. Uh, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. Along the lines of, you know, the um, old soul soundtracks. Uh, Curtis Mayfield, Superfly type thing. Holy moly, this is a cooker. Um, this is just uh, Melvin Van Peebles. Just killer stuff. I've been wanting this for a long time. This is a nice clean copy. So that is great. Oh, nothing. Just an original 50-foot hose. My gosh, would you look at that. And this is a promo copy um, on Limelight. It's in, in really good shape. Been wanting this for a really long time and stumbled upon it on a dig recently and could not go home without it. Just look at how that cover just pops. So nice. I'll just talk about this for a second. This is a killer psych record, but it is not uh, for your everyday psych listener. This one's freaking crazy, but I love it. It's a spit foot hose cauldron. Oh, man. So look this up if you like it. This is Deep Psych. This is really, really good stuff if you're really into Deep Psych. If you just like scratch the surface, blues rock, pop psych, a high express type of psych, stay on. This is really good Deep Psych. Um, Bridget St. John, Ask Me No Questions. 
if you like Karen Dalton, if you like uh, Joni Mitchell, uh, if you like um, Judy Sill, check out Bridget St. John. She's the female Nick Drake. She's so good. Uh, acoustic singer-songwriter from the 70s. This is on Elektra. This is a really good album. I've been looking for this for a really long time, so I was excited to find that. This is Power Plant Golden Dawn. Uh, this is a killer psych masterpiece. It's one that, you know, I probably will never pull the trigger and buy an original. That's a really great album. The originals are worth tons of money. Only one person in the world I know that has one, and that is Sam. You know, Sam, the psych professor. Um, he, he's, he's, he got really lucky on the copy, I think. But this is a really good reissue. Got it for like 10 bucks, so really good stuff. I got it from, here's a little, a little pro tip for you. Got it from Rockadrome. Rockadrome.com. They got some really good hard rock stuff on there for for good prices, and I got this there. Really good. Um, this is another thing from Neil, the guy that came to my pop up. Uh, this is Tangerine Dream Kaleidoscope. This is like an audio file, 180 gram uh, pressing, virgin vinyl, super fidelity. It says uh, on Sunbeam Records. This is a great sounding record. I mean, the record's phenomenal. The content is amazing. This is one of those psych. Just absolute masterpieces. But this is a really great copy of it. A uh, really great pressing. Sounds phenomenal. I could not I could not get over how good it sounded. Because a lot of the reissues, some, not all of them, some of them sound real bad. So this is another one, The Open Mind. Um, same label, same deal, Super Fidelity. Um, really great psych album. I know that they reissued some of these for Record Store Day last year. I have not heard how they sounded. But this sounds phenomenal. And this is one of those records I think they go for like a grand. If you find an original, this is a reissue. But another one came from Neil. The Open Mind. It's a really good psych album if you can find one. This is one I've been wanting for years. This is uh, Fleetwood Mac, Mr. Wonderful. Uh, this is not, uh, you know, your uh, Fleetwood Mac rumors. It's not your Stevie Nicks Fleetwood Mac. These are Peter Green hard hitting blues rock for Liquid Mac. The good stuff, if you ask me. But this is a UK pressing. They did not release this album in the US. Uh, they only released it in like the UK, Germany, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, so a few other countries. But they did not release it in the US. So over here, this is really hard to find. Uh, this, is a, this is, well, I found a copy. Uh, about six months ago and passed on it because it was expensive and I regretted it immediately after uh, but anyways found this one and just had to jump on it <sighs> you can find it get it it's even hard to find and listen to online uh, this is Truth and Janie I think I might have showed this in like one of my live videos or something but Truth and Janie was this phenomenal band from the early 1970s and they had just a really good hard rock sound unbelievable face melting stuff I'm telling you stop what you're doing right now unless you're watching this video and go listen to this because it's killer uh, this is called Truth and Janie Erupts now this is a later album this is live material from 1972 74 something like that but so this is one that you can find online you should be able to Rockadrome has them sometimes like I mentioned before that's where I got this from and this is just really, if that's your kind of thing, get it. Um, but the cover of this is to an album that Truth and Jane did called No Rest for the Wicked. Now, uh, some of the issue, this is, this is No Rest for the Wicked. And I'll show you the label for it. It's a Montross label. Uh, so this is a copy that I got that is a early 90s repress of No Rest for the Wicked. And that's the only other repress that's even affordable because of the, the I don't know why I'm holding this up, it's freaking white. Uh, the originals are like 800 bucks. So, you know. But No Rest for the Wicked, this got a lot of the tracks on this for No Rest for the Wicked, but they're all live. This is the studio No Rest for the Wicked. Really super hard to find. Like, they didn't even have a cover with it, it's just a disc. So, that's really good stuff. And then, this is still sealed, original first pressing of Truth and Janie, just a little bit of magic. Haven't opened this yet, but don't worry, I will. Uh, but yeah, I met a guy that had a record store like in the 80s, and he had some like sealed stock, and he had this, and so I got it from him. Really exciting. I got this from Newberry Comics, this Almond Brothers band. 
uh, American University, Washington, D.C., uh, December 13th, 1970. Uh, one of the records is clear, and the other one, wait for it, that sucker's white, uh, if you can believe it. This is really good uh, live concert. can't remember how much this was, but it was an affordable price. But really good on Newberry Comics. I pre-ordered it, so I just got it recently. Uh, this is one from Record Store Day uh, this past year. I've been wanting it and just found a good copy for cheap enough for me to live with, so I caved. This is the Atlanta Pop Festival, uh, Almond Brothers. Uh, I mean, uh, J uh, July 5th, 1970. It's got serial number and all that stuff on it. This is a 4LP. And the cover on it is just so killer. How could you not want that? Uh, but the content on it is great as well. Uh, it's just a really nice, nice thing. Um, this is Calabash. Calabash is a band from here uh, in the Winston-Salem uh, Greensboro area, I believe. Um, but I knew some people that played on this album. So I've been wanting it for a long time. And this is one that's really, really rare to find. I know that um zeke found one and i tried to get it from him but he didn't want to get rid of it but this one i've been wanting to track it down i got it at a really good price so excited to get that um a buddy of mine helped me out on this you know who you are thank you man um and then the last one or next to the last one i got this is spiritualized um ladies and gentlemen we're floating in space this is their 1997 album um, I like some of their later stuff. That's kind of how I got introduced to them. In 2008, they came up with an album called Songs in A&E. I really like that album. So I got this one. I've heard it before, but I never, never owned it on vinyl. I got it really cheap. So it's a double LP. Pretty cool album. And then this is the uh, last one I'm going to show. This is Brian Eno, uh, Taking Tiger Mountain. I always get that tongue twisted, but this is a Japanese pressing of that. Really good. I mean, you know Brian Eno type stuff. Spacey kind of out there but this is a little bit different than some of his stuff like he did with David Byrne stuff I really like this album um and so I'll probably hang on to this one for a little while but you never know myself anyways so that's some cool stuff that I've gotten here recently I tried to blow through that stuff as fast as I could hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know I'm going to be doing more videos as soon as I can thanks for watching we'll see you next time